Hey guys, uh, getting ready to do an RMA, uh, and usually I don't do an RMA on equipment we don't sell or on something like that, but this guy's a good customer of ours, and he just wanted us to check out his hobby wing stack, so I said, okay, fine, I'm gonna check out the ESC real quickly. Um, and like I said, it, the only reason I usually don't do it is because we've got a ton of RMAs as it is, uh, and so, you know, and uh, other work to do, so I don't wanna be delayed by this, but like I said, uh, he is a good customer of ours, and uh, I figured, well, we'll give it a shot. So first thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get rid of all this solder that's on here. Uh, I don't, I can tell you right now, right off the bat, the solder that's being used is, you know, it's, I mean, this, this is really not, uh, to heat, the, there's a ton of solder, first of all, and to heat this thing up is gonna take me forever. This solder is, uh, so I'm just gonna try to, it's gonna shoot everywhere. There's one, and then I'm gonna take off this cap, and then I'm gonna cut this other piece down. Yeah, that went fine. All right, let's see if I can kind of just maybe melt some of this down. But I mean, I'm at 380 right now on my temp and this isn't budging. So I'll probably either mix some solder with it or I'll just use my uh, clamp. So he says it doesn't work. I don't know what the deal is with it. He wants me to test it out. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'll just do a continuity here and make sure that, uh, okay, we don't have any issues with that. All right, so now let's power it up and see if it overheats. If it does, then we know that it'll be a regulator, most likely. So let's see what we got. Uh, amp pull on this is zero. So that's kind of weird, because usually you'll see something, right? So let me just put that on here. We have no amp draw at all, which is kind of strange. And we're not tripping out our um, smoke stopper. So I'm going to try to feel if we have a heat source here. I hate when I do this because sometimes it just burns the heck out of me. Uh, Alright, so I don't see anything here that's causing a problem. So let's now trace this out. Let's go to our... I need my old man goggles. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. We are getting voltage out, so voltage is going through the board. So that's good. So I guess the only other option left now is to just attach a flight controller. Wonderful. All right, let me go grab a flight controller. Uh, and I guess to be fair, I'll just grab uh, a hobby wing flight controller. Might as well. Might as well keep it. I got some new ones here that I can't sell because nobody wants them right now. Wonderful. So we'll just go ahead and use one of these. There we go. Okay, let me put this off here for a second. All right, so what we're gonna do now is let's see if we can power up. I may just, I hate doing that, but let me just see if I can power this up. So positive, there's our ground, and we do have, we do have our flight controller starting up, so that's good. So what I'll do now is I'll just get a motor, one of my motors, and solder it on. Since I don't have any other description of what's wrong with this thing, uh, I'm just gonna try this and see what happens, okay? And since this solder is really, really, uh, doesn't wanna melt at my temperatures, I'm just gonna add my solder on top of it and hopefully get it to melt through, okay? Let's get our tweezers, let's move all this out of the way. going to quickly put these on okay please understand that I'm not worried about the soldering I'm just trying to get these attached so I can test this all right there it's attached should be good enough to hold for a test let's go ahead and power this up
Okay, so now I don't have any power. So let me make sure I'm okay on my side here. Yes and yes. Now what is interfering? All right, so I'm gonna get the tester again. And let's see, because we were receiving signal. No, we're not. So let's go ahead and unplug this here. This is a straight through cable. I'll tell you what. I'm now curious to see if that cooked my flight controller. I did not check, but I can tell you that those don't line those don't appear to line up properly, so let me just see. Okay, we've got eleven point nine to there. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you straight up if this thing fried my stuff. Well, it should go straight through actually. So that's a straight through, and this one is straight through. So that can't be the issue. So what am I? Let me see. I guess what we need to do is now test this flight controller and see if we bring our voltage to here. Turn on my old man goggles. I don't think the cable is the problem, but now you got me wondering, so. No voltage there here. I don't know if you guys can see that, so there's a bit here. Uh, ground should beep. Uh, where am I going here? getting any amp full either. So let me see if I can plug this in what happens. to the computer real quick. Oh, look, I mean, it's even registering the voltage. Hold on a second. It's even registering here. Look, let me show you. It's showing that there's 12 volts coming in. Uh, so let's disconnect. Now let's go to our PL heli. Try to connect this directly to the pad on the flight controller. I don't know, I can't see. Okay, one of these two at the back. And we still have nothing here. Okay, let's try it the other way. Let's put this on the ground. And let's take our. And I gotta find it here. So, where do I have.
anywhere here. but it's coming in incorrectly. So, just give you an idea here. So what I'm going to try now, I'm going to skip the, now I think I've either damaged the flight controller or there's something really squirrely going on. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to see if I can use, where's the other kit that I have? Oh, but you know what? I think this board is limited in power. Let me see. God darn it. That might be the issue. Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. I think we just blew this board. That's my mistake. Damn it. Well, let's try another one. Because we have so many of them. This time we're going to remove okay, one right here. Let's pull that out. That's in here. And now looking at this wiring diagram, we have ground bat. Uh, let me see. Ground bat, current. So this, and then we have 5 volts. So this should work. At least it looks like it should. Let's try it again. That's right. That's right. And that is ground. And that is going directly into here without any issues. So then the only thing left would be if the 5 volt isn't working. So let's just see if that's the case. So let's find the five volt. That is going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's go here. Okay, so we have no five volt coming from here. This is the issue, okay? So let's go ahead and bring in five volt because we have one two three and four no five volt from here so uh, let's go ahead and do that and then both these boards actually should be good so I need to grab five volt from here so here's what I'm gonna do Take a JHEMCU, 5 volt convert. Okay, put that right here. Put my old man goggles on. I'll prepare it. 
First, I'll clean up my desk here a little bit. Put these two boards out. Get this out of the way. This out of the way. Get this out of the way. All right. These are really awesome little things right here. I like these. Um, very easy to use. So what we want to do is we want to just take um, some wires and have our input and output. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump it from there. So let me get uh, two wires here. I'll use this, right? So let's take that. We're going to strip these and tin these. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go this way because we don't need the thing right now. Let's tin them up. I had some solder sitting here, I guess not. Tin these up. And I'm just doing this quickly because there's really not much to this. If it works, it works great. And on the back, it'll tell you you have your inputs and your outputs. So you have positive and ground, ground and positive. So we know this is going to, actually, I'll do it on the back. It's easier. So let's do, no, I didn't tin this side one. I mean, I didn't. Uh, Flux on that side, there we go. Okay, we're going to take positive. Pull our five volt out of here. So uh, we will take. Let's see, so we're going to go. No cable. Ground. Battery. Current. Ground. Five volt. So we need this cable here. Here. Okay, and as far as our ground goes, um, I don't think that's going to matter for right now. So Let's see what we got. Okay, let me unplug this real quickly while we're working on this. So I'm gonna take board number one. We're gonna take this wire because I don't want this to be in here. So let's take that out. Let's plug this in. There we go. And this is gonna go into our light controller like this. Okay. And then as far as our red and black here go, we're gonna put that over here. We're going to attach that and put some solder down. And I think I can get away with this without adding the ground to here. We'll find out. Main thing is, we're on five volts. Let's see if we can get this flight controller to light up. Oh, and we can. So there you go. Got our flight controller functioning now. Okay. So now, let's plug it in. Let's get you guys back to beta flight here. OK, 
Okay, let's see what we'll do there. We have our voltage and everything else. So let's disconnect. Oh, you know what? I think I was interfering with it too. That could be my fault. Hold on a second. Yeah, so let me go ahead and get out of this. Go back here. Okay, so what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try to jump that 5 volt back into this board as well. So let's try that and then I'm going to be done. Then it won't be worth it to mess with the ESCB on that. But everything right now is looking good. Um, so I'm going to jump that back and see if we can get anything. These dogs are driving me nuts. Okay, so here's what we want to do. So I'm going to take this off. Disconnect that. Now I've got the five volt here, but what I also want to do is I'm going to feed this five volt back. Okay, and so I'm just going to take a regular wire like this one here. Let's see if I can do this and make something happen. Okay, so the five volt, uh, well, I need to put that wire back in. So maybe I can just do this real quickly. What if I was to squeeze this back in here in this port? Because I left the tab on. So if I can get this to go back in there, this can act as my five volt. Let's see what happens. Okay, so if I can get that to stay, right, just for now, now I get in there. I want to push out, so just get in there. And just need to get that moved over, I guess. So, hold on. Ah, don't break that tab. Come on. Right, let's just try it like that. All right. So, I'm just going to have to hold it in there so it doesn't push out. There we go. All right. So, I'm going to also solder this to the 5 volt tab as well and see if we can give 5 volt back to this board. I'm just gonna jump it down on this side here. So let me just tin it. Okay, very temporary, might work, it might not. Let's see what we got. Okay, I know I've got my 5 volt going out. So I'm going to plug this in now. Got our board lit, got this going. So now what I want to do is, let me see if I can put this in here. Okay, now. All right, so from the looks of it, we're getting our voltage because we know that we connected beta flops. I forgot to disconnect here from BL Hubby, so hold on a second. Let me just tell it to disconnect. All right. We can connect. We, we're getting our voltage. So right here, there must be a regulator or something that's out. I'm assuming it's going to be the 5 volt. I'm hoping that I would feel some heat build up, but uh, on, on one of the failed... Uh, chips, but I'm not so I'm going to I'll trace it down But to be honest with you, 
there's a point where I just say no, and this is very close to that point. Um, but there's a few th areas that I can check just to see. So, but as it stands right now, though, it is stuck as it is. The flag controller is working fine. The ESCs, the the the, the flag controller is getting power from the ESC, um, not a five volt dough, and we are not getting any, uh, obviously, any feedback on the motors at all. So I can disconnect from there, go off here, try to connect again, and I'm not going to get anything. No. And if I try to firmware flash it, sometimes. Let me do a firmware. Yeah, so we have a power issue. All right, so I'll track it down. So there's really nothing much we can do to this one, guys, but we tried. You can see how we routed it around. So it was close, but it's not going to happen. All right, guys, well, that was just something to try. I'll let you know if I have any updates. We'll talk to you soon. Finish this here. All right, guys, so I was just finishing with this hobby wing, right? And we're finding that something really, and then I noticed right here, I'm looking really closely, and it looks like one of the chips came off, right? I mean, I just, I was just getting ready to put it away, actually. And I'm looking right here, and I'm gonna try to put this under the microscope so you can see it. Let me take these things off my face. Let's go here. All right, so let's go ahead, and we're gonna open uh, our microscope, and I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. Okay, so what it looks like is right here. Okay, and it, that's exactly what it looks like. So right here, we lost uh, a chip here. And I'm, the problem is I cannot tell you, I'm trying to figure it out, but I cannot tell you uh, which chip goes here because I don't have the layout of this board. Here's what I can tell you though. Um, if I'm looking at the voltage right now on this board, you guys just have to watch I me. Mean, this is just by chance I happen to notice this as I'm putting it away, right? So here it goes. If I was to test voltage, test this chip here, I've got nothing coming to this side. I have four, uh, I have my power coming here. All right, so I do have, well, now I don't, now I've lost everything. Hold on a second. Make sure I've got everything on. I do have everything on. All right, so going from here, Have eleven point seven. Okay, and I have on this side. I have. All right. So now let me go ahead and flip this over. I have eleven point six ground coming here, and I've got eleven point nine ground coming here. So what I'm noticing between the two is we're missing. And if I put this here, I'm trying to figure out what chip would have been on here. If I don't, it looks like it might be this one here. Yeah. So it looks like it's going to, I need to find me uh, this 472, which I'd be honest with you, I don't think I have one. Uh, but I'm curious if that's going to solve it because what I'm trying to figure out here now is if I was to link these together. Okay. And I'm trying to find something that can do that for me. So let me see. I guess I could bridge it, but I risk damaging the whole thing beyond. Let me see if I can use something like this. If I was to bridge these together. I'm gonna turn the power off and I'm gonna try that real quickly. Let me see what I can get out of this. Let's get the power off. Let's reconnect this real quickly. Let's go to our turn the power back on. Okay, we are getting power to go through. So I believe this is gonna be a 32-bit ESC, so let's go ahead and switch over to the 32-bit version. Alright. Okay. Close this, open. Okay, now, now that we know we're not seeing anything, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some flux here. I'll try to figure out what the heck's going on, okay? So, first things first. All I'm doing is switching goggles back and forth.
Okay. First thing I'm going to try. See Plug that in. Okay, so that produced nothing so far. Let's turn that off. Now we're going to try something else. Try again. Okay, we have nothing there. Okay, now. And look at that. Look at that. We are back in business. I'm just going to flash them all and see what happens. So we're missing our chip here, but all of a sudden by bypassing that, and I'll show you right here, looped it back to the voltage. I assume this is going to be a limited to 12S, so I mean a 12 volt, so I would not screw around with it beyond that, but um, which maybe what it was was a regulator somehow on there that's missing, but my gosh, I mean that's pretty awesome. So uh, what I can't tell you is, I'm going to check the rest of the board. Uh, we have no excessive amp pull right now. Everything looks great. Uh, what I'm 
excited to find out is if we are getting five volts out. Now, one thing I want to check is while that's going, and I don't want to mess with this, so I gotta be careful here. Let me see what I'm getting right here. Okay, so I'm getting ground to there. I mean, I can't. I mean, I I can't complain. This thing is running now. I'd like to find out what chip is there, but the fact that the chip is missing and the fact that we're able to bypass that right now, and it looks like everything is functioning. I have no heat. I have nothing overheating at all on here. Uh, well, hold on. Let me see. No, I mean, I do. It does look like we have a little bit of heat going on over here, but what I can't tell you is if that's normal or not. I need to find out what chip that is, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, one chip caused the whole thing. If I could find one, if I could find a diagram even, uh, I could probably be able to pull that chip and fix it. I just don't know what it is. Uh, so I may just have to see what's going on here, but that's what we're looking at. And it looks good. So we're going to see if we can get this fixed. This is first time on these hobby wings, man. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty pumped now because, uh, you know, working on that, that sucker, uh, this guy's got himself something working. All right, so let's see what happens. So we've got everything flashed. It's able to be red now. So let's go ahead and go back to our ESC setup. I'm gonna click disconnect, All right? Okay. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull the five volt from here. We're still getting five volt, so that's good. Um, so that part's set. I'm gonna to have to see, let me see what else we got. Oh, I mean, it's running, I mean, it's hot, but uh, I guess the next test would be, let's just put a motor on this and see what happens. I don't want anything to short out though, so let me just keep all these here. Let's take this motor. Let's see if we can get the spin. I mean, that'd be interesting. If we get that, that'd be great. So let me go ahead and it's here. Turn the power off real quickly though. Take the microphone, I mean the microscope out. Let's lay this down. One. Two. Come on. I just heard the motor initialize. And I bet you now what's gonna happen. Watch this. Go to beta flight. Connect. Uh, wait for my computer to catch up first. Connect. Motors. Arm. Let's see. There you go, it's working. So we need to find out here, and I have a feeling it may be uh, for our five volts, so it's an open circuit. So I'm debating if that's where our five volts coming from, and I guess what I can do now is I can check and see here real quickly um, if we have any five volt coming now, now that this has been repaired on that side. Let's just see what we get. So let me put this here. Let me find the five volts, it's one. Two, one, two, three, four, it should be here. And you see now we're getting a full 11. So that would be where our five volt is. So to be honest with you, um, not really worried about it because we've interrupted it and we're not gonna put the cable there. So we're not gonna blow that. Um, so I think we're doing actually pretty good. If I can find, because my guess is on this side of the cable was gonna be the five volt. I don't believe I have one that will do it, but I can check. So I'm gonna disconnect all of this now and see if what is missing, it's very tiny. Let me see.
see. I only really want to get one side of this on right now, okay? If I can get one side, I can test it. That's all I care about, the one side. Let's see if I can get one side to stick. Stop flying all over the place. I believe we have our setup here. There we go, golden. So everything looks good. I mean, we're gonna leave it like that. I don't see a problem here. I think everything is functioning fine. We have our five volt out. So we're still not, so we're gonna to have to have a regulator on there. We're gonna to have to jump these and we're done. All right guys, so that pretty much, uh, there's the final right there. And that looks, uh, I can accept that. Uh, if I don't have the chip, all I basically can do is warn them not to use the five volt coming out of the board. But uh, we've jumped here. So we've made our connection here, which passes it through. And then we use our five volt from here to go ahead and pass to the flight controller. And as far as I'm concerned, and we know that the motor is working, so we can click connect. Uh, I think I'm like, hold on, I think I'm still in BL Heli. Let me get out of BL Heli. Disconnect. Let's connect here. Reset. All right. Motors. Turn this on. And there we go. Runs like a champ. All right. Well, that was pretty awesome. Excited. Uh, never worked on a hobby wing on that level before uh, to, to find that one area, but I just happened to glance and see that at the end, and that seems to be the fix. So we've lost our 5 volt uh, regulator on there, but we've been able to bypass that and get the ESC working again, and it's salvageable. All right, man, that's great. So uh, please follow us on Facebook and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, guys, go spend time with your family. Make sure you, uh, you make the most of your time. You never know how much you have left. Okay, you can always fly later. Talk to you soon, guys. Pa uh, thank you. Be safe and. Enjoy.